April is National Poetry Month, a great opportunity to celebrate poets and pieces that have played an integral role in our literary culture. And here to share some of the must-reads for this year is owner of Semicolon Bookstore, Danielle Moore. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Hey, y'all. Thank you it's, for having me. It's so exciting to know that books have not gone the way uh, that people thought. People yeah. thought, you know, I, I would get an iPad or I'll get a Kindle or yeah. whatever, and I will just do read my books there people yeah. actually physically like to hold yeah, a book you need and read the, physical the work. book um i think non-readers thought that books were going to go away readers were like no i'm way. never right? yeah. <laughs> giving yeah. up on this so it's an experience it's a, it is it's a smell to a book too it's tactile yeah. it has a smell to it and you like being able to kind of feel more of the story that you're reading yes yeah I, I, okay so national poetry month i think yes. it's a great thing because like i have kids and trying to get them involved in it you know some things that i would not have seen before are now yes. being put in front of me. Yes. So what, you guys have some wonderful <laughs> poets. We have so many poets, but we focus on authors of color in my store. And so we have a list of good stuff. Now, okay. If you're trying to be revolutionary, oh. um, Tongo Ison Martin, he is the poet laureate in San Fran, mm -hmm. and he is amazing. And really? so, Blood on the Fog is revolutionary poetry. If you, how do you change the world? Um, mm -hmm. Most of the time, you start by changing yourself, but you know. Yeah. Um, if you want to feel things, oh, <laughs> you want to feel deep down in your heart, you know, you know. you it's going to make you do all of that. Oh. Oh. By Irsa Daly Ward. She is a UK poet and she is outstanding. Oh, well, you yeah. have me on. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. <laughs> and if I'm going over here, let me see that one right here. I don't want to see that one right here. Hanif Abdurraqib. He is one of the newest uh, MacArthur Foundation Genius Grants oh. uh, grantees, and he, the crown ain't worth much. This is basically detailing life as a black man and like how there's a ton of weight, um, mm. and you don't really get to get that weight off. Mm. Okay. And so this is this is an important book for building empathy and understanding. Oh, okay. okay. Um, or Shire. Another UK poet, um, and you will know her because she did some of the um, speaking parts for Beyonce. Um, oh, you know, she, she okay. writes poetry for everybody who is really cool, but she likes to stay behind the scenes. Okay, so okay. that's really cool. This book just came out a couple of weeks ago, so I haven't had a chance to fully explore it, but it's flying off the shelf, so it must oh, be good. decent. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, Chicago, yeah. Southside, Chicago. Nate Marshall. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, um, and this is. Well, I'll be in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so this is a big seller in my store, too, because everybody wants to sh support so, Chicago poets. Yeah, I mm -hmm. like that. Um, and then lastly, we have Lucille Clifton. Classic, yeah. How to Carry Water. Yeah. This is going to get you through every part of your life. You see that thickness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poetry books aren't typically like this. Right. <laughs> that was like my next question. So when I think of poetry, I'm sorry to be this, I think roses are red, bodies are blue. <laughs> no. I like you, you like me too. But that's not necessarily what poetry is all about. No, I think the cool thing about poetry is it creates an emotional shift in the reader. Um, and there are poems for everybody. And you want to feel that shift. So when you want to actually kind of feel yourself or indulge in a level of emotionality that you normally wouldn't, poetry is the best thing to read. So what do you tell somebody who comes in and maybe you recommend a poetry book and they say, poetry for me is unapproachable. Like, how do you make it approachable I, for someone? I completely agree. Yeah. I like to ask what they read otherwise. Okay. Mm. Because then we can pull a book. There are some light and fun poetry books. Yeah. Uh, I didn't bring any of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there are some books that will really tear you apart and put you back together. And so it's, it's finding what they like to read, what they like to eat or do. We pull all of that in to recommend a good book. That's that's cool. Okay, so I understand you are the largest African American female bookstore owner in the yeah, country. It seems like it now with our with our new store. Not in the. I'm not sure. I haven't done the research. Okay, <laughs> well, that's what I was reading. People say words, and I just be like, I just sell books. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, we just have a good time uh, with our new store. We have over 5,000 square feet um, in our space, and we have a ton of murals. We're getting a new mural done today, oh, cool. and so we just focus on not only books by authors of color but art Chicago artists um, and we have a good time with that and so we're going to continue to be expanding um, as time passes and just enjoying ourselves it's just such a beautiful space to walk yeah. in it's like a, it's a good space to be in it feels good yeah that's yeah. the sage no. and that's how you get people in there absolutely uh, people sit and hang out with us all day we end up having lunch we end up having drinks and it's what I built the space mm -hmm. for for people to kind of want to have somewhere that has books everywhere um, but also you can hang out and you can learn from people and it's not unapproachable if you're not a normal reader. Ah, and then you cool. also have people come in, obviously, to sign their books and you get yes. to meet the authors. Yes, that's, that's so our cool. favorite part. 
uh, Nicole Hannah Jones is there so often. <laughs> that's okay. amazing. Um, cool. She comes in, even if she's not signing books, she just has drinks with us, so that's a good time. Um, and we're also uh, doing an event with Janelle Monet, mm. um, her book signing that is actually sponsored by the American Writers Museum. Um, but we're the bookseller for that event on April 22nd, so that's, that's going to be a good time too. Good month for you guys. We just we just, just doing all the things. Yeah. We're doing all the things. Well, make sure you <laughs> check out Summit Colon Bookstore on uh, West Division. The social mm -hmm. media handles there and the website as well. Daniel, thank you so much for being here. Thank so you nice for having me. Thank, thank you for time. I can hear it in your voice yeah, when you talk about you your books. No, I love this. Mm -hmm. I love Keep it. that. <laughs> all right. <laughs>